Hey guys, so today we're gonna get the PPSH Golden Viper. So as you can see, it's level 69. And all we really need is like 700 more Pack-a-Punch kills and around 30 more explosive zombie kills. So far, I've only got the MP40 Golden Viper and also the revolving shotgun. So this is gonna be my third one, which I'm excited for. So I thought for a challenge, seeing that we're about to get this Golden Viper, we're gonna try and get to the highest round we possibly can only using the PPSH. So what I've seen from the PPSH so far is that it's actually a very good weapon. It just really depends on the attachments you're using. It is a very hard gun to control. So I I definitely recommend putting on a lot of accuracy attachments because the fire rate for this thing is absolutely ridiculous. I was playing multiplayer with it and I was getting absolutely destroyed. And I was, I was literally thinking this is the worst gun in the game. But then I changed the attachments around and it was very, very good. And in zombies, this thing shreds more than it does in multiplayer. So I'm very interested to see what round we can get to here. And also just to see what Golden Viper looks in this thing. Because personally, Golden Viper looks awesome in this game. And I can't wait to get Plague Diamond on these SMGs. The camo grind in this game is actually quite peaceful. In zombies anyway. If you're playing multiplayer, good luck. Because I must admit, the SPMM in this game is killer, dude. And getting gold in multiplayer is worse than Dark Aether. Even though zombies isn't that easy either but let me know in the comments guys what do you think is the fastest way to level up your weapons is it playing multiplayer games and absolutely sweating or is it playing zombies and with multiple people because if you play zombies with other people you actually get more xp than solo so let me in the comments i i would love to know just so my grind's easier as well from what i've seen multiplayer is the best and i've been leveling up my weapons pretty damn quick in multiplayer but zombies also looks very promising but only in co-op not solo i've seen a lot of people say that to get a lot of weapon xp really fast is to basically just go through the rounds and get to round 10 and then exfil. So like, don't waste any time in the harvesting zones or anything like that. Because the more kills you get in the harvesting zone, the weapon XP actually drops. So just go through the first 10 rounds and then exfil. I put this in my last video, but I'm very keen. Just, I'm going to put it in this video again. Let me know if you're grinding for Dark Aether, because I feel like there's not that many people. But I could definitely be wrong. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you're doing. Honestly, I've actually been enjoying zombies quite a bit. And I really want to get to some high rounds really soon. Because I would love to get to round 100 plus. And also, I think knife only round 100 might be possible in this game. Also, you might even be able to get to round 100 just using like the PPSH. I mean, we're going to see what round we can get to here. But it seems like it's possible to kill every zombie zombie at high rounds with certain weapons and the strategy is like you don't need to kill zombies for certain rounds as well so for example if you're doing knife only if you put on two covenants these two covenants will make the knife a one-shot kill forever because and it will also heal you whenever you use the knife because the pack a punch three knife is actually a uh a like eight shot kill or something because the pack punch knife only does 1200 damage and zombies have like 8,000 or 12,000 or something like that. But if you put these two covenant upgrades on the knife, it actually becomes a one-shot kill forever. So I'm definitely going to be trying to do that. It's so annoying though, because there's so much high round stuff I could be doing. But then I want to grind the camos as well. It's just really hard to choose. And I've been like pretty unwell lately. So it's I haven't been able to grind as much as I want to. And 33 weapons, man, to get, to get Dark Aether. And then high rounds, I mean, it's not impossible. And it is one of the hardest zombies games ever. I said that before. But now that the meta's found, it's actually not that bad. So honestly, I'm really enjoying Vanguard a lot right now. My goal for this game is to be like higher on the leaderboards than I was in Cold War. I was top 1.5k on uh, on Cold War. But yeah, genuinely, I've actually been really enjoying this. It's very smart for them to add a lot more weapons and also make the, the camo grind harder when there's lack of content. And I just, I'm not even sure if we're going to have a round-based map in Season 1. I don't know what's going on there. But this PPSH is absolutely mad right now. It is obviously round two, but still. Oh, I forgot that I should be delivering these. I've just been kind of been like running around. What am I doing? I'm trying to go for the highest round. Oh, well, I just wasted some time there. That is definitely one thing that I find really bizarre about this game. I find myself just absolutely grinding and like not wanting to get off in a weird way. Like it's really not the most fun zombies, but it's so addictive for some weird reason. Like I'll be like, oh, I need to leave the game because I need to do some other weapons or something. But I just like won't leave the game. It's just so oddly satisfying killing zombies on like harvest rounds and stuff. And I don't know if I'm just in a positive mood right now, but I'm generally just, I like this bro. And I'm obviously gonna see comments like, oh dude, this game's trash and all this kind of stuff. And I don't care bro. I'm just saying how I feel about it because I'm enjoying it. Alright, well Pack-a-Punch one, nice. I feel like the game almost gets better the more you play it in a weird way. And that when it was at launch, because we didn't have these cool things, we were so disappointed. And it wasn't round based. There wasn't any wonder weapon. But the more I'm playing it, the more I'm enjoying it. But I'm the kind of guy who'll play any COD anyway. I'm not sure why, but COD is just always so much fun to me. And I'm sure there's some of you guys out there as well. I mean, if you're watching this video and you're playing Vanguard, you're, a, you're probably a COD guy as well. Oh my god, I love the pack a punch in this game. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure that the red ether camo that was leaked is actually the Pack-a-Punch camo. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a camo that was leaked and everyone thought it was gonna be the new Dark Aether. 
and it's like this red, really, it's basically Dark Aether in Cold War, but red. And then obviously we got the green and black camo that people are 50-50 on. So everyone's thinking that the red Dark Aether might actually be the pack Punch camo, and I, I agree. And I hope it is. I'm not sure why they didn't just add it in the game straight away. And there better be a pack Punch camo coming. This is the biggest worry, though. Obviously, I'm enjoying the game because it's so early on. But how's this game going to feel after December? You know, we've had Christmas. We've been playing the game for a bit. We should have DLC 1. I don't even know what zombies is going to be a DLC 1. But that's that's probably my biggest worry. Because I'm enjoying it right now. But I got sick of Cold War pretty quick. I would say by February, I started having troubles. And then every update kind of like kept me in. So hopefully this game's like that. But... <laughs> From the start, it doesn't seem like there's much content. I just really hope they add a round based map. Or just more content in general, I'll be happy. As long as they don't leave zombies in the dark this year, I'm, I'm good. Because they well could because of how much hate they received. Okay, so I'm just gonna get to like round 10. I'm just gonna do the norm, just fly through the rounds, grabbing my pack of punch, grabbing the covenants, grabbing my perks as I go. And we'll see how strong this, actually we'll get to round 13 and I'll see you then. Because at round 13, the zombie's health is actually, like, pretty much max. I don't really know if it is. It's kind of hard to tell when the zombie's health's max and when they're max sprinting. So, I guess we'll just try and get to, like, round 20 with this bad boy and we'll see how we go. So, I'll see you guys there. Hopefully, I don't go down. I'll show you if I do. So, I've just hit round 13. I'm gonna get my Juggernog max and also my Speed Caller. Oh, there's a boss. So, this is a good... Yep, this melts, man. This gun shreds. It's round 13. The zombies are pretty much max health. Or they are. I can't... I don't really know what is max. But I'm going to get Spear Cola Tier 4 as well. And so I reckon we try and get to round 20. And what the... Oh, whoops. What the challenge is going to be, I'm only allowed to use a PPSH. And then I'm going to try an Exfil. Because to be honest, round 20 on this game is kind of the same difficulty as round 100. So I'm only allowed to use the weapon though. And that's going to actually make this really hard. Because if you didn't know, majority of the high round strategy is basically just using Monkey Bombs and Aether Shroud. And I'm not going to lie, I need to take a piss. And you can't pause the game. Now I could just kill all the zombies in the main hub and then... Just quickly take a piss, but I can't be bothered. And there's people literally on the high rounds, so they use macros. Because you get kicked out of the game after like two minutes of being inactive, or maybe a minute. It's not very long at all. And so what these high rounders are doing is that they kill all the zombies in the main hub, and then no more zombies will spawn in. And then they use a macro, which basically just... They can press one button, and then I think it... Oh, whoops, I'm not allowed to use Aether Shroud. I was about to die, but I'm not going to lie. Round 14 plus, we're not allowed to use Aether Shroud. But damn, god, these zombies run quick. But yeah, a macro basically, I don't, I don't know, in the comments you might know a bit more about macros than me or be able to explain it more. But you can press like one button and then the same command will just happen continuously or just a, a pattern of binds will happen without you having to even press it. But basically they can press one button and then that button will register an like a melee and they will just melee non-stop so then they'll never get kicked out of the game i forgot that i have to actually end the rounds i'm so used to on a harvesting round just farming the zombies and it's quite addictive but yeah i'm not gonna lie very confusing why you can't pause the game and at first i was like oh these high rounders are just screwed but nah they've got macros they're chilling but then macros is just cheating but i guess it's just performing the function of a pause button <laughs> i'm also like 100 kills off getting golden viper for this ppsh so this is perfect timing i might need some more consecutive kills kills though and it might be really hard with how quick some of these zombies are really depends on the map though for example this harvesting well that's the whole thing about this whole game the the region you're playing and the objective you're doing makes the game so much harder or so much easier look how fast they are though in this game it's quite ridiculous i don't have stamina up tier 5 because i always grab that last or tier 4 sorry I'm low-key struggling right now. I feel like any gun- Like, this gun's actually doing pretty well. And so you can see, like, this will be until round 100, the amount of damage I'm doing. So it's still- oh, I've just used Aether Trout on accident, bro. Okay, like I said, round 14 plus. But yeah, I think I need some more consecutive kills. I'm not sure if I have that yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and power through these rounds. I really don't need many kills at all. So hopefully I get Golden Viper in a second. Okay, this is hard. This is really hard. I need ammo. I don't even have points for ammo. Oh, Jesus. God, with no monkey bombs or ether shroud. Because what you can do is just farm monkey bombs and ether shroud on the main hub. This gets incredibly difficult. Come on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Okay, I think we're going to do it though. Going to have to slide cancel. <laughs> it feels so weird slide canceling zombies. This is like the first time I've ever done that as well. I feel like blitz rounds are actually easiest for the high rounds. Because, for example, I might be able to... I don't know where to camp on this map. There's always a good camping spot, though. I've got to get Golden Viper, man. I'm so close right now. I'm probably going to go down on this one. This one's really hard. I don't really have time to even shoot the enemies. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go down here. With Sprinter Zombies, I don't know. Tr 
Transmit rounds are low key hard without monkey bombs or foot upgrades. I think we actually might make this though if we play this smart enough. Oh, maybe not. Oh, actually, we're doing all right. Like I said, the PPSH is just decent. Oh, Jesus. Just needs to get right here. Nice. Oh, it's over here actually. Well, transmit rounds are so ridiculously quick though. They're like, what, like 30 seconds if you just stay on it the whole time? Okay, so what do I do? Initiate X fill. Kill zombies before the portal opens. Okay. Is that all I gotta do? Wait, maybe if I can get 20 kills here. Wait, there's no timer? What is this? If I get one more consecutive kill here, I might actually be fine. I just need to get 20 kills without getting hit. This, oh wait, no, there is a timer. The portal's gonna open. But there's no timer for me to actually see. That's just whack. Okay, I got hit. It's too hard not to. The zombies are so quick. Just need to kill eight more. This is a weird X feel so far. Five more. Oh, Jesus. The zombies are so cracked in this game, honestly. They're so cracked. Good thing that, like, most of the challenges, you don't actually need to kill them. Wow, tier four dead shot, as you can see, is actually really good. Because tier three sucks. And then I just get to the portal. What is this X feel? Did they test this, bro? Bro, I swear they don't test things in this game at all. And then what do I do? About to say if that didn't work that looks really cool i must admit that looks awesome I'm level 61 i don't know how the leveling system is in this wow that looks awesome as well too bad the x was way too easy and they didn't make it different that looks awesome though that screen wow uh well here's a moment of truth though we are prestige 2 level 58 i don't know how that works oh it's like it's like cold one all right did we get golden viper let's have a look i really hope so no, we didn't. Just need one more challenge. And it, what? We barely got any consecutive kills. That got bugged or something. All right, so let me get the rest of these and then we'll get it and then test it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're on round one in harvesting and I've literally just sat here and got 220 kills. I think I need like five more and then I should have Golden Viper. Here we are. One more actually. Come on. Give me Golden Viper. Rank 63. I'm ranking up real quick at the moment. I'm not sure why. Yeah, we got Golden Viper. Awesome. Does it come up? There it is. It looks so weird in that. It looks like the desert. Desert. So let's leave and have a look. All right. This is our third gun done, guys. It doesn't take that long, but it also takes a while, if that, if you know what I mean. Oh, this looks bizarre. For some reason, with the PPSH, it seems to not show as much. I'm Prestige 2 now. That's weird. All right. Let's have a gaze. Ooh. I like this. This looks nice, man. It looks weird. I think, uh, let's back out and sh look at it with, with like, the normal PPSH. Because it's got the attachments on. It doesn't even look like the PPSH at that point. Damn. This looks cool. I rate this. I, it's a lot of black on it, but it kind of suits the gun. Oh, I don't like that. The sight should be, should be uh, what's it called? Golden Viper. That looks cool, though, to me. That looks pretty cool. I quite like Golden Viper camo, actually. It looks better than the normal gold. I don't know. It's growing on me. This whole game's growing on me. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully, I'll get to round 100 tomorrow. I've actually fixed my sleep schedule, and I'm feeling a lot better now, so I have time to get to round 100. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy.